The cattle industry has struggled with non-competitive prices in recent years, citing an issue with the meatpacking industry. Mike Dandria spoke with some ranchers who are feeling the effects. After a nearly two-year investigation by the Department of Justice, cattle ranchers are still waiting for a verdict regarding price manipulation by the meatpacking industry. So you got box choice beef well over $3.20, and you know, last time fat cattle were bid roughly $1.91. So we're, we're under $2 on the fat cattle bid, so that's far from where it should be. According to Texas A&M AgriLife, demand for beef is increasing, and it's also affecting the consumer. It's really not correlating with what the consumer is seeing on the retail shelf and everything else, and which is great because uh, we love to see that the demand for beef out there and consumers going out there and, and, and purchasing beef. But, you know, a lot of people would assume that that is trickling down to the ranches and in the feed yards and those type of things, and right now it's not. While the prices for cattle stagnate, prices of other commodities are on the rise, hurting ranchers even more. Unfortunately, we need to use a lot of those grain commodities and, and hay products and stuff that are going up in prices. The continuing drought is also worsening the blow to North Dakota ranchers. It's definitely a challenge. Um, the grass that is green, you're right, a lot of the water is not there. A lot of the dugouts are very low. It's last year's water. I know locally our James River did not run, so it, it's last year's water there. So water quality is definitely going to be an issue. Brian Amundsen, a cattle rancher from Jamestown, says the drought is forcing some to downsize their herds. You know, we work with the natural resources that we're given, and, you know, what, what we could be doing now is actually harming and detrimental in the future and the years to come. Ranchers are feeling the crunch right now, but are hoping to get some relief one way or another in the future. Reporting in Bismarck for KX News, I'm Mike Dandria. And according to a press release issued by Senator Kevin Kramer, nearly 17,000 ranches have gone out of business each year for the last four decades. Recent rainfall has been beneficial for North Dakota's drought conditions, but it hasn't been enough 